you gonna be on YouTube? Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to today's YouTube video. So today I wanted to take you through um, how I'm paying off my student loan debt. So I posted a video on Instagram a little bit ago and you guys were super interested. So um, if you're still interested, then please keep on watching. Thank you. Okay, so I wanna take you guys through the five steps that I did in order to pay off my student loan debt. So step one I did was I did a ton of research. I mean, I really wanted to understand what my options were. So doing so much research, I found out that I had six options to go with. So my first option was the obvious option, make more money. <laughs> so if I make more money, then I can make more payments. The second option that I found was refinancing. So I can refinance my loans, have my loans paid off with one lender and open up another um, student loan account with another lender for hopefully a lower interest rate. Um, my third option was a loan forbearance. So I can choose to um, defer my loans for a year, not pay any payments on them, but also accrue interest, which is not a great start, but if you can't pay it, then it's understandable. Um, my fourth option was the income driven uh, repayment plan, which if I don't make enough money, then I can actually have my payments lowered per month. Um, fifth option is loan consolidation. So um, I have about six loans right now, so I can consolidate them all into one loan and then make one monthly payment on all of my loans consolidated. And then the sixth option for me was I can have a government job or work for a nonprofit organization for 10 years. Um, after making minimum payments for 10 years, they will actually forgive the rest of your loan. So step two was to now create my plan. So um, I'm gonna take you through my actual plan, what I'm doing, um, and the options that I did choose for myself. Um, just to note, I only did one year in advance. I did not um, create a budget or set expectations for myself any longer than a year, just because I don't really know where I'm gonna be. I'm you know, in my late 20s, I'm still trying to figure out where I wanna be in life, um, but I do wanna experiment. I want it to be six months, reevaluate, see if it's still working um, one year at a time. So I just wanted to note that. So now I'm gonna take you through my actual plan. So what I'm actually doing is I've chosen to make more money. And it sounds funny that I've chosen to make more money, um, but I really did. So the first thing I did was I started freelancing. I wanted more money. I couldn't get it at my job or at the time I could not get it at my job. So I was like, well, what can I do? I went on a website called Upwork. I did some research and I found a freelance website. So they were great for me. Um, so you can find clients through them. So people will come post a job posting and say, hey, I need somebody to help me with my spreadsheet. Hey, I need somebody to help me with my database. Hey, you know, I need somebody to transcribe my seminar or whatever. So I did do that for a while. I made, any, I made some extra money and then I put all of that towards my student loans. Um, the next thing I did was I asked for a raise. <laughs> Crazy, I know. I did ask for a raise. Um, I did come prepared. I did justify why I wanted a raise. I did, you know, create a list of what I contributed to my colleagues, to my boss. You know, what did I do to make a difference? Why do I deserve a raise? Um, and he saw fit. He said, okay, yes, I do believe that you have done enough to earn a raise. I know, side note. Millennials these days were all about like, oh, we've been here a year, we deserve a raise. That does not mean you deserve a raise. You deserve a raise when you work hard, you show up, you justify why you deserve a raise. You know, you should really um, want to earn that raise. You don't want to just expect it. So just a little side note there for all you millennials out there. And then the next thing I did was I created a YouTube channel. <laughs> So right now, um, I'm obviously not collecting any profit or revenue or whatever from um, YouTube, but I'm hoping that maybe in the future I will. I will be able to generate um, some sort of a monthly income so that I can put all of that towards my student loans just to pay them off faster. And then the next thing I'm doing is, well, the next thing I did do, um, I've actually done, already done all of these things and now I'm sharing them with you. Um, I did consolidate my loans. So just a little side note, um, half of my loans are Parent PLUS loans, and then the other half of my loans are under my name. So a Parent PLUS loan is um, if your parent receives those loans, so they take those loans under their social security number. So technically, in the government's eyes, I am not responsible for paying those. My mom is, but we have an agreement that I would pay off all those loans for her. So I chose to consolidate my loans in a very 
particular way. So I really, I dug deep into my loans. I went, okay, I have six loans. These are the interest rate per loan. And I had created a calculator, which I will do uh, Excel's I will do a tutorial on for you later, um, probably right after this video, so you can kind of get a visualization of what I did. So I really dug deep into my loans. I went, okay, this this loan is at this high of an interest rate. This one's at this low of an interest rate. You know, this is how much interest I'm accruing per day, per year. Um, so I really figured out what my numbers were. And then from there, I went, okay, so I consolidated my two loans with the highest interest rates together because I wanted to keep that interest rate where it is. If I were to average in my lower income rate or lower interest rates, then that would bring my average interest rates up. So I wanted to keep those where they were. So I just consolidated two. I am currently paying off four, two under my name, two under my mom's name. And then the two I'm making minimum payments just based on the interest that's occurring per month. Uh, I'm not really making any to the primary, which I should be, um, but that's kind of my less focus right now. And so how I'm able to not make those payments um, on the two higher interest rate ones is my mom um, currently does not have any taxable income. So I went for the um, income redriven income driven repayment option. So I actually don't have any monthly payments because technically in their eyes, I'm not able to afford those payments. So I am fortunate in that way to have had that option instead of deferring it um, because then it doesn't actually knock me off my deferment plan. So I know you can defer your loans, I think up to three years without being penalized. And then anytime after that, I don't know if they'll accept it. I'm not really sure what the process is for that, but I know you only have a certain amount of years to actually defer it on your own. And then the next thing that I'm doing is I'm just making my regular monthly plan or my monthly um, payments. So um, I've chosen to do the debt snowball approach versus the debt avalanche. So if you don't really know what that means is debt snowball is I'm making minimum payments to all of my loans, um, but I'm putting any extra money that I have towards the smallest loan to the highest loan. So for example, I have a loan that's $30,000. I have a loan that's $12,000. So I'm making the minimum couple hundred dollars on the $30,000 loan, and then I'm making the minimum on the $12,000 loan, and then throwing money at the $12,000 until I can get it paid off. So that's not everybody's favorite approach, but I really enjoy it because I feel like it's little wins. Um, I feel like it's satisfying to see my loan decrease. So it went from $12,000 and then I paid it in the last couple months to $6,000. And it's like, I'm motivated to get it down to zero. Um, and then my next lowest one, I think would be like 8,000. So then I would just throw money at the 8,000 until I got that down to zero and so on and so forth. So I think you get the idea. And then there's also the debt avalanche approach. So it's kind of like debt snowball, but the opposite. <laughs> so debt avalanche is you're gonna make minimum payments to all of your loans but you're gonna throw all of your extra money at the loan with the highest interest rates. So it's a little bit different um, than how I'm approaching it, but it's also a great method as, as well. It's just not my forte, if you will. And then my third step is who do I need to successfully execute my plan? So I've done all this research, you know, I've signed up for all this stuff, and at the end of the day, I was like, okay, well, how do I do it? Like I've you know, I know what I want to do. I've created my plan. How do I do it? So um, I did get recommended a student loan financial advisor. So they actually took me through the process of filling out the paperwork for me for my um, income driven repayment plan, as well as my loan consolidation. So I just mapped everything out for them and they filled all the paperwork out and submitted it for me um, to get me accepted. I didn't really want to take that risk of doing it myself, even though I probably could have, but I didn't want to take the risk um, if I didn't get accepted because I kind of put all my eggs in one basket <laughs> with this plan. So um, I just wanted to ensure that I was successful and that that would be um, accepted. And then the fourth step would be execute the plan. So I've been executing the plan for about three to three to four months now. I think it's going really well. Um, I have all of my loans organized, which is so much less stress on me. Um, I don't feel as overwhelmed or burdened which I think was is a big thing with student loans. You feel overwhelmed and like it's never going to end. You're like in a black hole of money that you owe and you're just like, how am I even going to live my life? Like, can I afford this $3 burrito? Can I afford $4 Starbucks? I don't know. Like, should it go to my loan? So I'm totally with you. It's super, super stressful. So I think this has helped me a lot. 
um, with creating a plan and just going full force. So um, I will do a mini experiment, if you will. So I'm gonna do it for six months, see how it goes, see if I have extra money, see if I, you know, I need to decrease my monthly payments, figure out where I need to go from there. But so far, so good. Um, if you guys liked this video, I appreciate it. I hope it helped. Please know I am not like a financial advisor. I don't know if this is the best way to do this. Um, this is just my experience and how I chose to go about it. I just did my research, but you know, you can't always believe what you read on the internet. So um, thank you again so much. I hope it helped. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you. Um, don't forget to subscribe. That would be awesome. It really supports my channel. Um, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.